guys, Emma here, also known as 8 Vinyl Low, bringing you guys another video. Uh, today's video is going to be kind of a long-awaited one. Um, for those of you who have been following me on Instagram, um, know that I kind of posted some sneak peeks to this. This has been about like a month in the making uh, because life's just been... Uh, catching up on me and my schedule's been super busy and it's summertime so I've been enjoying the warm weather and um, yeah so I finally have had the time to kind of sit down outside of my contest and a couple other videos that I wanted to get done I finally found the time to sit down and make this one um, but going back to what I was previously talking about um, for those of you who have been following me on Instagram I kind of showed sneak peeks of a Goodwill haul. Um, probably for the past two months, I've been every few days or so, different times, whenever I have a chance, I've been going to a local Goodwill um, to check out their record selection. Now, nine out of ten times, as most of you kind of uh, told me, and, t and you know, I hear all the time, nine out of ten times. It's, you know, it's a bust. There's nothing there. It's the same old, same old Christmas albums and pop vocals. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but just not what I want to uh, buy for my collection. Um, but yeah, there was a time where I went to Goodwill, and I went there when they had just brought out new boxes, not just a box. Workers wheeled out new boxes of vinyl records and I started going through them and once I realized that I basically hit the jackpot at Goodwill I uh, scooped the box right up and just bought them not really I, I brought them to another section went through them so I wasn't distracted by anything um, checked out the condition of the vinyl I'm blown away at the condition of some of these records um, and I'm, I've been waiting so long to show you guys, and I'm so happy that I finally got around to making this video. Um, I thought about splitting this video up into two or three parts because of how much vinyl there is, how many records there are. Um, but I'm just gonna, I think, you know, all of these records I think are records that you all are gonna know. Um, these are just records that I'm missing in my collection. And I definitely filled my collection very well um, with this Goodwill haul. What's so great about uh, the Goodwill near me is that I've seen some Goodwill's price, you know, their records at like $2 or, or um, even 3 or $4. My Goodwill, it's all 99 cents, so you're paying a buck per album. Some of these are ones that you would find in a dollar bin um, at a record store or whatnot, but some of these are amazing finds in my opinion and I'm super excited about them. Um, so for those of you who do not follow me on Instagram but want to, my username is the same as my channel name, it's just 8 Vinyl Low. I post a lot about what I'm currently listening to and some updates when I go thrifting and vinyl hunting and all that. So if that's something you're interested, go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go through these, I'm not gonna talk too much in length because there are a lot here and I want to be able to get through them and not have this be an hour long video. Um, so I'll show you the record, you know, if it's gatefold, I may sh show you the gatefold, talk about the condition a little bit, and then we'll move on. Um, so we'll see how long this video runs, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit, let's see, I'm gonna try to hit a half hour, like 20 minutes to a half hour. and. I, I know we're at four already, so I gotta get going. Um, so first record I picked up here is Night Ranger, Dawn Patrol. I love me some Night Ranger. Um, I don't own any of their stuff yet, so this is a good start. But um, this one has, I think this one has Don't Tell, yeah. This one has Don't Tell Me You Love Me. It is originally from, I can't find the date. Oh, there it is, 1982. Um, this one's in okay condition, kind of some scruff on the side there, but other than that, nothing to really complain about. Uh, the vinyl is beautiful. Um, also picked up Midnight Madness by Night Ranger. 
This one has some major hits like uh, Rock in America and of course Night Ranger's big hit, Sister Christian. Uh, this one came out in 1983. Fun story about Night Ranger, actually I have met uh, their drummer Kelly Keege before. Uh, I've talked about this in a previous video about this concert. Uh, Jim Peterick, who is the founder of the Chicago-based band The Eyes of March, uh, who's well known for Vehicle, talked about him before in videos, uh, also uh, was a founding member of Survivor and did some other really cool stuff. Uh, he puts on a show every year called Jim Peterick's World Stage, where he invites uh, very well-known musicians and artists that he's worked with in the past uh, to come put on this kind of super group, superstar concert. Um, when I was much younger, I went to one of those shows, it's been going on years now, uh, I went to one of those shows and Kelly Key was one of the guests, and normally after the show, all of the artists and stuff go out in the lobby and you can have a chance to meet them and get an autograph and a photo. So I ended up meeting uh, Kelly Kiki among, among others. Um, and he actually, for a drummer, had his own custom guitar picks. Uh, and I remember it, it was just a, like a pearl white guitar pick. One side was like a cartoon of his face and the other was like his, uh, uh, you know, signature. And I've since lost that guitar pick and it breaks my heart because I'm heavily collecting guitar picks now um, and I, I wish I still have it. You know, maybe it'll pop up somewhere um, back at my old house, but you know, the chances of that are slim. But I'll always remember that story. Super nice guy. Um, Night Ranger picked that up for a buck. Also have Head East here, another great Midwestern band from uh, Illinois. I actually think one of the members went to one of uh, where I go to college, so that's really cool. Uh, but this is Hedy's Live. I think it's a double LP. They're most well known, if this sounds familiar, for their album Flat as a Pancake. I still don't have this record, but I am now collecting Head East, so that's awesome. Here's the gate fold. And uh, yeah, it's a double LP, so that's really cool. Also grabbed Super Tramp Paris. It's a double LP as well. I think this is a live album too. Um, this is from 1980. Nice gatefold. Um, I only know really of Super Tramp from Breakfast in America. They're most probably well known and a great, great uh, classic rock record. Cool uh, customs here. Custom inserts, sleeves, yeah, that's cool. Um, but I'm excited to to give this live uh, live record a listen. So grab that for a dollar. Um, I started taking the Goodwill stickers off them until I realized it's probably cool for you guys to actually see that. These records that I'm getting were 99 cents and from Goodwill, so I stopped doing that. Um, so yeah, the rest of them should have that on there. This is uh, Steve Winwood here, his uh, solo ar album, Ark of a Diver. Great record. Um, this one is from... can't find a date. Oh, there it is, 1980. I figured it was 80 or 81. Um, Cool sleeve, cool custom sleeve there. Uh, I absolutely love, and I still have to like go through these, get these off, uh, throw my the vinyl through the spin clean and stuff. Even though they're fairly clean, they just have dust and all that. Um, While you see a chance is a great opening track, so catchy. Um, I think Steve Winwood plays like all the instruments on this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he does. So super cool record. Moving on here, and I did, do now realize Mike Guitar Player 07. Uh, Mike, if you're watching, I do have a Bob Seger. I don't, I didn't have that live one that you sent in a VSCLT, but I did pick up a Bob Seger from Goodwill that I did, I totally forgot that I grabbed this. Uh, but this is his Night Moves, well-known album by him, and of course the uh, title track, Night Moves, is the song that I know Bob Seger for. I'm sure many of you know him for that song as well. Um, but super clean copy of that, and, uh, 
cool uh, insert there. Kind of ripped at the bottom, uh, but that's okay. I'll probably put this in a disc sleeve uh, to preserve whatever's left of that, that insert. So grab that. Also, I have this one, but this is in much better condition. I can't believe the condition of some of these records. I mean, I feel like I just bought this. I feel like it's 1978 and I just bought this. Uh, Elvis Costello Armed Forces. Uh, one of my favorite Elvis Costello records. Beautiful sleeve in there, custom sleeve. As well as, even came with at the Goodwill, can you believe this? The original 7-inch single of uh, Accidents Will Happen in Allison that I think this came out with when it originally came out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure uh, this single came with it. I didn't get it with my other copy, but now I got it with this copy and I paid like $3 less than I got the other copy for, so that's awesome. Moving along here, sorry if I'm going fast, I'm just trying to get through them. Uh, great soundtrack from a great movie. This is the... Uh, this is more songs from The Big Chill. I also have, uh, I picked up, this was there, the original soundtrack. So I have both the original motion picture soundtrack and more songs uh, from this soundtrack. I'm sure everybody in the VC, being music lovers, have seen The Big Chill and know about the soundtrack. If you don't, highly recommend it. Go watch it. Um, came in the strength, but this one's pretty busted, so I think I'm just gonna take that off. Um, nothing special about that, um, but super excited to have this. Amazing. Same thing here. The shrink's kind of ripping, and time to come off. It's time. All right, this one I don't know much about, but it looked extremely cool. It looks like it will probably be kind of psychedelic. Um, it's just called Ruby Jones. I've never heard of this before. Uh, but it was there and it was a buck and it looks super cool. The corner's kind of torn there, um, but the vinyl itself is beautiful. Here's the back. So if any of you know anything about this Ruby Jones gatefold, please let me know because I have never heard of it before. Um, but yeah, so grab that. This was there. I was just talking about this Super Tramps Breakfast in America. Great record. What was the year? 1979. Um, this is probably what they're most known for, and it is just a great classic rock uh, album in general. Probably a record that everybody uh, has in their collection at one point or another. Uh, I have this record, but this one is a much cleaner copy, both sleeve and vinyl itself. I can't believe, like I said, the condition of some of these. I feel like I'm in 1979 and I just picked up this copy. Um, so, have just a, a cleaner um, copy of that now for a dollar. Snag that. All right, let's get into some, let's see here. Continuing on with my uh, collection of Bad Company, I have just recently picked up their Run With The Pack and uh, they're self-titled at a garage sale or estate sale, I can't remember which one, about a month and a half ago, two months ago. Uh, finally have their Straight Shooter album, just another addition to the collection. This one is from 1975. Um, this one has Feel Like Making Love on it, so great, great song from a great... Uh, band. Custom sleeve there. That's pretty cool. Front and then back. That's really cool. I've not seen uh, the inside of that. Alright, moving right along. We have Dexie's Midnight Riders. Uh, two Rye. Probably their most um, 99 cent sticker there. Probably their most uh, well-known song, Come On Eileen. Uh, it kind of makes them a one-hit wonder in that sense. That's all I know from this record. Uh, so I'm excited to give it a listen and, and see if they're truly a one-hit uh, band, <laughs> one-hit wonder, or if they actually have some other uh, really 
cool stuff that I've at least maybe heard before. Uh, it's from 1982, original shrink on it. Uh, the shrink's really nice. Um, it, I thought this was sealed when I first picked it up, actually, but I realized it wasn't. But So grab this. is on the Mercury, Mercury label. Um, cool sleeve in there. Look at that picture. Oh, that's funny. This looks like... Like, if, you, if this was on an album cover, okay? If this was a picture on an al album cover, you guys know, if you were at Goodwill and you saw this, and this was the only thing on that album cover, you'd, you would leave it. Like, that's, that's, that's the type of record that you would leave at, um, at the Goodwill. Uh, I, <laughs> it might just be me, but I feel like, seriously, that picture, seriously, like, if this was on an album cover, you would, it'd go right through you when you're going through that. <laughs> it just looks like one of those, um, that you see at a Goodwill all the time, so that's funny. I amuse myself. Um, picked up uh, the Chicago record here. It's a common one, but this is in phenomenal condition. Uh, beautiful gatefold, feels brand new. Uh, I think this is their 10th or 11th, somewhere around their studio album. Um, yeah, it's from 1977, so maybe they're, I don't know, probably the 11th. Um, so, needed to grab that. Also got the Kinks, low budget, with the original shrink. Again, I thought this was sealed too, but it is opened, and it has the uh, hype sticker on there, which is cool. Um, even has the original price there, $9.99. I got it for 99 cents. So, um... Yeah, this one has, I mean, the hype sticker basically says it all. Uh, wish I could fly like Superman and then a gallon of gas. Those are the ones I know. Um, but yeah, super cool. Kind of a play off of the uh, crisis that was happening in the U.S. there. More Super Tramp. Whoever owned these before really likes Super Tramp. Um, I really only know Breakfast in America. That's the only thing that I've listened to straight through. Uh, but I'm excited to listen to some more um, again beautiful condition with beautiful sleeve there no rips or tears or anything this one I was super excited about I saw this and I felt like I, I wanted to scream out of excitement uh, in that goodwill this is Ramones mania and it looks like I don't know exactly what this album is, but just from reading the back, it has a little bit of ring wear, but that does not matter to me. Covers rarely matter to me. It is the vinyl that I care about. Um, but it looks like a double LP it has to be maybe a compilation album or a live album. Um, but it, it tells a story here, and then it says, continues on inner sleeves. And the inner sleeves as you can see, have an entire story to it. Both of them. Here, I'll pull this one out too. So, um, yeah, I don't know much about this record, but it's the Ramones, and it looks like a compilation of the greatest hits. So, that is super cool. This was a great find for a buck. Alright, the album that is like, when you get this album in your collection, first off, everybody who collects vinyl, I feel like has this album. And I feel like when you get this album, you're officially initiated into the world of vinyl collecting. It's Christopher Cross here. I see this everywhere, all the time. All, you know, just everywhere, all the time. Um, in so many videos and so many posts, and I just feel like everybody who collects vinyl has this record. So now I am an officially a part of record collecting with this dollar buy. Um, cool. I think uh, this is this has got to be like a kind of slow, soft rock, isn't it? Surprisingly, I've not listened to it, but I've heard so much about it, and I've seen so much of it. It's from uh, 1979, Christopher Cross, with the flamingo.
Some more Head East. This is such a cool cover. I would just, if, if there wasn't a vinyl in there and I just saw this cover, I would buy it. That was, this is so cool. And I've seen this before, but now I have it. It's in my hands. I own it. Um, yeah, this is the coolest cover in the whole world. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so, grab that. Got some Joe Cocker. This is uh, with a little help from my friends. See uh, Jimmy Page right there. It's always cool. Um, yeah. Goodbye. All right, getting in some uh, jazz fusion here. Um, I I've heard of this guy and I know he's jazz fusion genre, um, but I've not really sat down and listened to him or his work so I'm excited to give him a go I'm sorry if I pronounce this name wrong but I'm just gonna pronounce it how I see it I'm pretty sure it's right uh, this is Larry Coryell and this is uh, his album basics it's from 1976 it has a shrink on it but it's kind of beat so I might might take that off but it has a little penware there but that's you know whatever it is um, but that looked really cool, and there were a couple more that I'll show you here, so I decided to grab them all, um, because I've heard of them before. This one's just called Coriel, or Cor Coriel, it has to be Coriel, right? Um, and what caught my eye right away is this back. Like, if this back was, like, say this was a front, and it didn't say anything else, and someone just wanted to sell the album like this, like, wouldn't you buy it? I think that is so cool. What a cool back. Um, yeah, but this one's just Coriel, and uh, it's from, hmm, I don't know what it's from. Oh, 1969. So it's older. And then there was the essential Larry Coriel. And it is a double LP. It looks just like a compilation of his greatest uh, greatest work. This is from 1975 on Vanguard. And uh, see if there's anything interesting. Well, it has a gatefold. Yeah, so I'm excited to, uh, to try them out and listen to some jazz fusion. Okay, another album that I feel like is in every single collection ever. Of course, The Pretenders here. Classic record for any record collector have a copy of this but this is definitely again an upgrade beautiful condition all right this one wasn't at goodwill but this was at the garage sale that i went to after goodwill and i got this for a dollar and i got something else for a dollar but i'm super super excited about this pickup it is fleetwood max english rose has some peter green in it yay uh, pretty sure this is a compilation, a uh, U.S. release, and, um, yeah, that's awesome. It's on the, uh, yellow Epic label. I won't try to pull it out right now because I gotta get through this. We're 23 minutes in, but, uh, what a good buy. Uh, let me see here. And I also picked up for a dollar at that same garage sale, Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy, Elton John. This has a somebody saved my life tonight someone saved my life tonight or somebody someone saved my life tonight um, which is the one song that I do know off here I'm sure other ones will sound familiar better off dead sounds familiar um, so grab this what's really cool too is that it came with all the original inserts so it came with the comic book and the fan club thing and the poster um, and it was a buck so I jumped on that. Moving right along, going back to the Goodwill Hall. Um, there was Leonard Skinner Band's Gold and Platinum. Pretty sure this is a compilation album too. It has uh, Give Me Three Steps, uh, Sweet Home Alabama, Free Bird, uh, Whiskey Rock and Roll, or so on. Um, yeah, this was super cool. It's a double LP. And... Uh, you know, I'm not, I don't, 
I'm not huge on Leonard Skinner. I don't really know their discography that well, but I do know uh, some of these greatest hits, so cool record to pick up. Also picked up uh, Dire Straits self-titled here. It does have, is a little stained, the white, uh, white uh, album cover there, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me. Um, this one is from 1978. Super cool. And the insert inner sleeve. And the vinyl's in great condition. So that stain doesn't bother me. Okay, this one was uh, what I thought a great buy. Um, I know there's a like a lot of YouTube fans out there, and I know that like YouTube fans are like intense. Like they love it. They love collecting YouTube almost as I do with Cheap Trick. Um, and I you know I know YouTube. I know certain songs, and I know certain songs are YouTube when I hear them being played. But I, I've never dug deep into U2, and I don't know, like, album names or discography or stuff like that. But I saw this, picked it up, amazing condition. I've seen this before in the VC. This is U2's Rattle and Hum. Uh, here's the back here. This is a, a double LP with a gatefold. I mean, absolutely beautiful condition. I feel like I just went out and, and bought this. Um... Show you the inner sleeves there. Lyric inner sleeve. Same thing. Um, yeah, so I don't know much about you two, like I said, uh, besides just songs. Um, but super excited to start to really listen uh, to their their albums. All right, moving along here at 27 minutes. Picked up the police. Great find for Buck. And super cool inner sleeve. I thought that was sweet. A little badge there. That's cool. A beautiful copy of Bruce Springsteen's The River. This one it feels like it's brand new as well. I can't believe it. Um, so just adding to my uh, collection of the boss here. Trying to catch up to Mike at uh, Jam on Vinyl. I won't get there, but I will try, happily. Um, cool insert there, lyric insert. Show the back. And then the uh, records themselves, I thought the inner sleeves were super cool too, photos and all that, so. Have that. This is Ginger Baker's Air Force here. A great, great progressive rock record. I was so excited to find this. Um, I've heard of it. I've not sat down and listened to this thing, but I cannot wait to spin it. Um, the album is just a little bit worn, but the record itself is just fine. Or the records. Yes, records. Is this live? Is this one live? Let me know in the comments below. It looks like, I, f I feel like this would be a live album. Okay, but I do know Prog Rock. More of the Boss, classic record, uh, and great condition too, born in the USA. Looks like an original sticker from wherever this came from. From Columbia House List Marketing. I don't know what that is. Beautiful, beautiful copy. All right, this copy isn't as beautiful, but the vinyl is just fine. This is Hendrix uh, in the West. Obviously, and noticeably, in this video, you can see the ring wear, um, but that's fine. Oh, oh, they put the tag on there. I was going to show you the gate fold because I felt one, but that's okay. Like I said, I still got to really go through these, get the stickers off, clean them, all that. Adding to my Who collection, a beautiful copy of Who Are You. So excited about this. I love the Who, and I've just been trying to build up their uh, studio albums and stuff, so that's great. 1978. Beautiful. This is uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Cool sticker down at the bottom. Gold Record Award. Mm -hmm. It's 
on Atlantic. Again, I'd open the gatefold, but you guys know this one. Um, excited to give this a listen to. I've never listened to this record, so uh, gonna spin that once that's clean. Bruce Springsteen again, Tunnel of Love. Mike, was that you who dropped all of this off? A lot of Springsteen. Um, but yeah, so another gorgeous copy. Great inner sleeve. Yeah, I'll put that back in. All right, and we have Argent. Pretty sure, I, I don't know a lot about this record. I've seen it in the VC. I'm pretty sure this has to do with um, members of the zombies, maybe. Um, there's the back. This cover's worn, but the the wax itself is gorgeous. So, um, But I've seen this before, and I've heard of Argent plenty of times, so I grabbed that for a dollar. Um few more, a gorgeous copy of Rush Permanent Waves. I don't own any Rush because for some reason they're kind of expensive every time I come across them. Um, but now I own Permanent Waves, which is one of my favorites from them, so that works. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous copy. I wish you guys could feel this. I feel like I'm in 1980 and I just went and picked up this album. Okay, with the inner sleeve there. We're at 31 minutes. Here is uh, Jackson Brown's a classic record from him, The Pretender, probably his best, from 76, yep, on Electra. Another gorgeous copy, I've not seen one in this condition. And to think I got this at a Goodwill. All right, I've seen this shown a few times recently because of that Let's Eat It contest, but uh, here's Humble Pie's Eat It. As I've been uh, exploring into the world of British blues my, and my love for British blues, Humble Pie definitely comes up all the time. Um, just starting to kind of read about them, learn about them, listen to them. Uh, so this was awesome to find there, and uh, I think this is either a fully live uh, double LP or one of the sides or one of the uh, vinyls is live or something like that so so this is Humble Pie's Eat It got that for a buck it had the uh, gatefold and I guess there was supposed to be a book here I have a page of it so there you go it's always fun to have a page of a book uh, Trilogy by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, classic record. Finally, I have this in my collection. Beautiful copy. Another classic record, just keeping it classic. Fleetwood Max Rumors, textured cover. This is just an upgrade of the one I have. All right, these last two are fun, and if you've made it this long, I think you'll really enjoy seeing my last two grabs, probably my last, uh, or my favorite two grabs from um, this haul, and here we go, Black Sabbath, self-titled, doesn't get better than that, and this one is on the green Warner Brothers label. So this was an incredible find for 99 cents. I. I've never grabbed anything faster when I saw this. I'm like, I had a pile and I just grabbed this and I almost just wanted to run and pay for it already because I wanted to own this. Um, this was awesome. And then I've got a nice copy of Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. It does have crossed out pen on the top, but that doesn't bother me. Um, otherwise, a absolutely gorgeous copy of Wish You Were Here with the inner sleeve another incredible find and we have finally finally uh, reached the end I cannot believe I just went through all of that um, but I'm happy I did I'm happy I put in one video because I feel like um, oh I just felt another one in the box I just felt one more in the box humble pies uh, on to victory record this one actually has a song that I know, so I was super excited when I picked up 
the opening track of uh, Fool for a Pretty Face. I've heard that before. So another Humble Pie. All right, that's it for that box. I can't believe I found another one. It's like they keep coming. Um, so anyway, thank you so much if you sat through this entire video. Wow, um, I'm sure you guys probably skipped through a little bit. I'm not offended. This was long. Um, but thank you so much again, everybody, for all of your support always and love and everything else that comes with this great community. Um, I hope that this video was interesting to you guys. I know I've been kind of hyping it up, so here you guys go, finally. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, um, great rest of your day or night, whatever you're watching this, and I will see you all for my next video. Bye, guys.